Hi, the Skia graphics engine or Skia is a open source 2D graphics library that would abstract your platform specific graphics APIs with its own API. For example, col circles, colors, or even your oval rectangles that you most would mostly draw on your React Native with views. So let's get started into the topic. Hi, I'm Saurav Ganguly. I work here at Geeky Ants as a React Native developer. And today, I would be talking about the React Native implementation of Skia. So let's get started. So at some point, people did ask me, why would you use Skia? Um, why draw things on the app at first place? You could put a PNG, but there are problems with PNG. Yes, this, this is a minimum loss compression, but because Android comes in in different screen sizes, uh, you have to increase your PNG size, sometimes reduces, reduce your PNG image over the time. The solution for this would be a SVG, which is a scalable vector image. But SVG comes mostly in your HTML, although there are libraries into your React Native for SVG, but the most you could do with is we use circles and ovals, rectangles. Yes, you could filter images. I show you a question which was asked on uh, the Stack Overflow. It is about six years old, but it questions, is there something equivalent to Canvas in React Native? And there are a few like answers people have provided over the time in different uh, time frames. So someone talks about React Native Canvas, and then there are other libraries people are talking about something that Alibaba has created over the time. But Skia is something. Skia is one solution to all these problems combined. So when you get into Skia, you could install with any of these, like you could go to Yarn or NPM, any of it that you like. And it has a lot of properties that you can implement into your projects. For example, painting properties and shapes. So there are a lot more shapes that you could include. Also change these shapes over the time. There are text uh, properties, text. Uh, these are not related to animations. There's a whole different folder if you want to do animations right down here. But there are a lot more text properties and 2D, mostly 2D rendering properties over here. There are image filters that you could use. Um, the syntax for, for here is very similar to SVG, if you see. So the SVG, a circle would be drawn something like this, right? So there would be a circle uh, CX to define the center of the X axis and CY to define the center according to the Y axis and a radius and a color that you should fill, right? You could do very sim similar, something very similar on the, your React Native Skia. You define a canvas and you draw a circle over it. So the circle will have a CX so the center is based on the X axis and CY, so center based on the Y axis, a radius, and instead of fill, you would use color and the same color. The numbers here are mostly in curly brackets and not in uh, quotes. That's, I guess, the only difference. But there are more differences as you, as you add on more properties over the time. We'll see this as we get on to an example. So the SVG and React Native Skia is very much similar at this point. You can see the numbers are different. Here CX is although 550 and CY is 50. I've used 200 and 400. This is based on the React Native Skia. Uh, I have implemented on my iPhone 14. You could use something very responsive that is responsive for your screen specifically. And I've used these numbers because I'll use this code snippet to draw something onto my app. And let's create that although you saw a glimpse of it, but yeah, uh, if you do something like this and the radius is, for example, 50, and this is somewhere at the center of the iPhone 14 and the color being red, if you see, this is what you get. This is a circle right at the center. Now, for example, if you remove this circle, if you remove the color of the circle, the by default color would be black at this point and you see a black at the center of the screen. There's one more property that I would like to introduce you with, that is the sweep gradient. Now the sweep gradient is, will always have a center, an axis, and then the color would blend from one point to the, from start to the end, right? And I define the center here. 
center. I'll define the colors that they have to blend in among each other, right? For now, I will define two colors, one being light red and the other would be just red. And if you see, this would be very much similar to and something very much similar because I'm playing with the shades of light red and red. This would be, this would look like something in 3D. So you can see the image has, though the image looks like a circle, but a paper which has been cut at the center and looks very much 3D because I'm playing with the shades, right? So if you want to blend the shade at this point, you could, right now I'm starting with light red going to red. So it's starting with light red, ending up at red, but I could end this with light red again and that would blend the colors all together. Okay, light red and that would blend the colors and this looks so good. This looks like a cone from the top view, right? So this is something that you would enjoy doing. Also, if you want to make a circle that is blend very much like a circle being blend across. Uh, let me use these colors. Control C. Control V. And you will get something like this. Okay. Um, now I'll try to create a stroke. A uh, stroke. What is a stroke? I'll try to make a ring out of this circle, I'll cut out the center part of it. So you could either do either uh, overlay a circle over it or cut the center part of this. Um, so I'll use style as stroke. And then I'll define the stroke width to be about a uh, 10 pixels. And this looks great. This looks like uh, coloring an image uh, which we used to do in uh, MS Word or MS Drawing, right? MS Paint. And this is it. You could you could actually explore with a lot more different values, and this looks great over the time. So yeah, uh, that is it. If you want to explore more on React Native Skia, the documentation is great. You can explore on anyways on all of the values that are provided in the documentation. There are also animations. Uh, although Skia is a 2D library, they also provide touch animations and a lot more different animations. So you can see touch events that is being provided here. You get the CX and the CY, the X axis and the Y axis, and you could do animations based on different touches. So this is a very great uh, library to explore. There are also other uh, libraries you could research about for research purpose. There are also other libraries I went through. So, for example, Direct2D, which is a library by Microsoft. So, Skia is not like a first engine that is rendering with the GPU and uh, providing you better APIs. There are also, there was an experiment with Microsoft with Direct2D, which is also a great 2D library. Starling Frameworks, Anti-Grain Geometry, Core Graphics, and Kerio. These are some of the great libraries you could explore on. Just, just read about the articles over the time. Um, there would be a series of videos after this, I guess about two videos. I'll talk about how to draw shapes and play with shapes. And then I'll talk about how to work with animations. Um, in animations, there would be also how to work with animated, reanimated, and then how Skia would handle animations as such. Thank you so much. I had a great time talking. Have a great day.